a while now, there's been clamor for local government to get their autonomy, give local government autonomy, let them be independent, let them handle their money by themselves. States should stop handling their money. Finally, that has happened. They received autonomy. But the big question here is, will the game be played differently from when the state was in charge? And that's what we're talking about today on Civic Banks. My name is Nancy Odimegu Yostroli, and I have with me the Global Director of Budget Foundation. No other. Any other one is a counterfeit. There is only one, Olusha Wonigminde. It's so nice to have you join us here. Thank you so much. But you know, you didn't call me for global issues. <laughs> you said I'd be global director. That's yes, right. Then you now call me for local government issues. No, don't worry. You know, we start with, so you see the impact is from the grassroots. Okay, I get from it. there now go to international. Okay, that. So um this autonomy has been in the airways for a while now. Mm. If you want to break it down to the Nigerian to the average Nigerian citizen, local government have received their autonomy. What does this mean and why is it a success at this point in time? I mean, it's good. Uh, I mean, we've, we've, a lot of people will debate it. They will even not say it's not autonomy because they will say it's financial autonomy. They will wrap it around that. But I think the Supreme Court was clear um, that the money should be paid directly to the local government council's account. So and that thing is a bit, you know, is a bit confusing because the constitution was also clear that the money should be paid to the joint account of the of the local government. The challenge is that people have also argued that when that constitutional phrase was defined it was a compromise clause you know and since the spirit of that clause has been abused the letter of that clause let me use that the letter of the clause has been abused let's go follow the the spirit of the clause which was local government was supposed to receive their money directly and now and that changes a whole lot of things because there's some local government like it's your salary more short. I get over 1.5 billion naira monthly. You know, um, the local governments like um, you know uh, maybe an average local government get 300 to 50 million. So it's a lot of time for people to now pay attention to say, okay, what is happening? You know, in my local government, how much do we get? To? Well, I don't think that's the silver bullet. I don't think that solves all the problems in local government because for years, people use local government government has become like the political structure. Where people say I have political structure. The political structure is being able to have a grip on the leadership at the local level. That's why you see someone who will do last minute when he wants to leave power, he go and do local government election. So I can do that the people in the local le- oh, no. system will now be in charge of them if they, they play. <laughs> By the time the new governor comes in, what they will do to like they did it or you they did it or show the council everybody. He does his own local government and some people there too. So they have the economic element of this too. The, the political element is there. That's my problem because that has degraded the quality of leadership at the local government. There were times when we went from local government to Senate, when we were profound as local government chairman. I mean, even in the late, late 1990s, the local government chairman was like a big deal. These days, they become they're so invisible. Um, so, fact for me, I feel that would be the, that would be the struggle. How do you get? How do you, the, the political element of that decision, how does it get resolved? Because it looks like the governors will want to let go easily of that. And that takes me to my next question, right? Um, which kind of like you started answering it. So now, how does it affect governance at that level? Because, mm-hmm. you know, we've had precedents where there's a local government chairman, a new governor comes in or sits down on, cancels the election, you know, does what they want to do. Also administrate there is the head just do what they want play with it so but how what does this say now for governance at that level you know it, it's it's a bad way you can hold the shirt because i mean look at government chairman at least you can hold his shirt you can see him the he local immunity if he steals one he's going to jail mm-hmm. you understand so yes. technically the jail is not postponed <laughs> you know it's not as if one will be dodging up and down you can catch you so i, I think it, it brings the situation home and it's it's where it's supposed to be. And if you live out of the country, what's your own, like in the US, what's your own business with Joe Biden? I mean, I mean it's, it's your county executive who's, who's responsible for your children's education, sanitation, critical issues in the local communities. I mean, it's the council. Bringing back the LGA to that level is extremely important. But it's, I, I think there are bigger issues than that. But at least accountability will be clear. You know, and we what we have done in budget now with LG a lot and, and you know uh, which we are trying to rebrand so um it's 
pray that I I can know understand you know in the real time how much does my local government have. have. Then we can now get local government budget, local government strategic plans, huh. and then we get local government now functions like a proper arm of government. Not this one that's only uh, an arm of government. No, you just yeah, no. you know, put it in the pockets now. <laughs> like the government's, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's the government's pockets. You think our government is the government's pockets? Yeah. So, so are you seeing something that every other person is not seeing? Let's talk about the challenges now. Yeah. Okay, let's let's have and, and and see. Okay, let me give you an example. By the structure of Nigeria, there's a too many there's a lot of expectation on the local government side and a lot of Nigerians don't realize. The primary education system is local government responsibility. Okay. The primary health system is primarily, and I use that word, local government responsibility. Over the years, sanitation, uh, hygiene, uh, over the years, we have degraded local government. So while we now we deep we created superstructure. You now have MPHCD, you now have UBE, whereas those things were supposed to, supposed to be defined on the local government, local government level. That's what it's supposed to be. But the challenge in that is that states are now taking the fiscal space of local government. So let me give you an example. Let's remove the Lagos LGs, man. Those ones are super rich LGs. Where every local government does not get more than 300 million per month. Yes. 400 million yes. at most. Now, in that many, there's the LGA worker salary. In that money, there's a primary school worker salary. In that money, there's a primary healthcare worker salary. In that money, you still want him to build local roads within like the community. The street so streets and communities, all those strong sea roads. So what is going to be left? So it's cool to say, and that money, there are pensions, areas of primary healthcare workers, primary school teachers like my mom. You know, and I think I think a government will also try to say it. it or maybe he wasn't careful with his words, but it was clear that, you know, the LGA standing alone, the current fiscal framework that we run. It's not, and I will tell you what, because a lot of things that LGAs are supposed to be responsible for has been pocketed by the state. Okay. Look at go- what is the reason we stay government with money at the park? Hmm. You know, park money, park hmm. fees, advertising fees. All those minor taxes were supposed to be what local governments should enjoy. But the state have, you know, colored be everything. And they now call it IGR. You understand? So, so there are wider issues that will happen. That very sensitive elements of the society. If you put it into an environment where leadership is weak, institutions are weak, and also do not require adequate funding, we have significant impact on Nigeria's development. All right. Thank you for that. So let's talk about the role of technology into this. I know budget. You mentioned the LGR last time. It's been rebranded, and then there is me. Budget. All. Mm. Yeah. Once we brand, you want to call it public money. So why public money? I mean, because it's not LG money alone that is there. There's states there. There's federal government there. So if we call it LG a lot, I think me. The budget. All. It, it makes it look a bit uh, serious. Serious. It should not be that serious. So we're trying to work here and call it public money and do a new lot. And it was simple, like we put integrate SMS, integrate web, integrate mobile into it, so that people can, you can have a real time understanding. You know, you can get it to a place and, and turn it on and, and it generates your, your location. The data for that. And it tells you which local government, how much it has collected and all of that. So those are the kind of things we're also trying to build. And I think I've also seen through like Dean Initiative, trying to be what they call open LGA system, um, which also to curate data and to ensure that the each of certain transparency and accountability standards. I think this will trigger a new level of innovation um, because it's, a, I mean, 774 LGs, that's a whole lot of place, to, a lot of work. Right. So if you take a corner and you start digging there, you will you, 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 be fine. Yeah. So now that that's the tool, that's the civic tech tool that you're using to address that, but if you want to actually explain it to the average Nigerian, okay, this team will help you do this. What exactly will help them do? How can he help them? You know, strengthen their voice, strengthen governance around them. You know, before, if you say local government collect these amounts, they're only lying to themselves because the money goes into a central. Yes. The state will take all the deductions. You know, there was a chairman in Ogun State that that blew the whistle. You know, and, and went you know gaga over the situation. You know, had to go and be deposited to the gov at the end of the day when they started harassing them. So now we know how much a local government gets. The fight for local government is what are the taxes that are supposed to also collect, okay. you know, and what support does the federal government also? I also feel that the uh, fact distribution uh, framework is not going to be helpful for local government. 
that also has to be brought to the table. It's 20%. Yeah, yes, 20%. For 774 entities, which is the bedrock. And it's going to take a while for them to build their revenue and any capacity. Yeah. So maybe also the time for them to push. You know, that federal government that takes 52% to shoot. You know, what? Fed some in Yeah, yeah shed some. We are too big. You know, you, know. <laughs> you don't need it. You're the yeah. big boy. No, you are a big boy. I mean, the last government, when the money was not enough, you mean the entire Chibulu and collected printer and they were printing it. So, <laughs> you know, so you can print it. The other government are not printing money. Actually. <laughs> yeah. So, at least, look at government. So, I mean, that's how to get more money. Um, so, for me, I think um, there is a need, there's a need to also look at capacity of what resources do they have. And now, build embed accountability framework to it. Because we have also seen local government chairman, they don't live in the community that mm. they don't so far preside over. You know, the ones also in that new cars, they want new wives, you know, new side. <laughs> let's not go there. Let's go, let me take it. <laughs> so let's talk about citizens' role in all of this. Like, how can they um, play their part now? Because most of them think, I know Kukuma blame them in Nigeria. By the time you advocate, it you say go tire, mm. right? So, but where do should they come in in all of these things and you know ensure that okay this autonomy it does not it does not just end here let us follow up let us monitor let us also contribute to see that you know things get better you know, like connected developers will say follow the money first of all follow the money know how much local government gets they ask questions um where are their budgets run like a normal government now don't run like a room and parlor self everyone which means you have a budget you have a system of, we are not just, it's not as if, you know, because you do that even you, you pay allocation, you carry allocation, they go under a tree, you share everybody 20,000, 40,000, everybody goes up, government travel comes again next month. You know, run like a normal system. You know, the current Minister of Communications that is now helping local government with, you know, ICT uh, connection, you know, and which is also very helpful. This is also the time for people to build innovation, you know, solutions, softwares to help local government actually properly run and administration. Um, this is also for them to check their payroll, who is working, who is not working. So a lot of reform will have to happen and there is a lot of reform. If the governors are willing to allow in workers, because I mean, the constitution can say something, the Supreme Court can say something. The like, you know, is another Yeah, like now, you know, and the, the exactly you should delay to October or November to start implementing. If they say you should kill somebody now, by Supreme Court says you should kill somebody money. They mean that that one will have killed the person at night. <laughs> Now you need, you need your own turn now. And they push out. You say they push out three months, four months. You know, you should have, it's the Supreme Court. There's a reason why it's Supreme. So Actually. You should, have, you should have moved the things quickly that it is. So I believe that it's time for citizens to follow the money. It's time for them to ask questions. And it's time for all of them to get much more involved. A local government is a very, by the time you put that in context, it's a small site, it's a small area. I mean, exception, maybe like Hija, Taraba, or if you look at Kano, or even Kano has 44 LGAs. So, man, it's not like a, a big track space. So, you know, you could actually do much, you would just face the guy, after a guy, until the apple. You know, so that way you see him go and buy Lamborghini, you see your guy. With our money. With our money. You <laughs> must, must explain, explain, explain. All right, thank you so much. It's been an interesting conversation. So, when do you see local governments, where do you see governance in Nigeria in the next, let's say, five, ten years? You mean local five, government? As real as possible, yes. I feel that um, we will start having bright spots. Some people will want to use that to cut out national problems because they want to do it right. And they want to prove that they are running in a very small space. They can do great things. You know, I think that, that you begin to see those kind of direction, you know, where people would say it was a local government and it was fantastic excellent or she was excellent and now we want to entrust more responsibility so will be a, another opportunity to, to groom the kind of leaders that we truly need i also feel that in terms of governance there will be a lot of there will be a lot of pushback on the fiscals like i've pointed out to you for most of our governments in nigeria those resources no matter how much we look at them and the context of the responsibility that is trust on local government if the governors decide to just stay back and say, okay, we'll stay within our own level of responsibility. There'll be a lot of debate on how they will work the formulas, how much revenue, either from state taxes or either from, um, you know, from like in America, the property taxes are collected by the local government. 
the state takes the sales tax. So everybody have defined what it is for them. For them. But yeah, you know, local government has not, state has already engineered everything. So those are the kind of questions that will happen and I think would be transformative. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful having you. Um, give us a shout out. It's called Civic Band. So please put in some energy inside the shout out. Uh, you know. So yeah. Hello, friends. This is Civic Band by Budget. Don't go anywhere. I mean, I forget. I beg. Mean, yeah, rest. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Oh, that's it on this particular episode of Civic Band. You've been listening to the Global Director of Budget, Olushi Onigine, and if you're interested, Follow us on social media, please don't snooze. We have like so many episodes out on Spotify, Apple, and on YouTube music. My name is Nancy Adimegu, and I'll see you on the next episode.